video contains excerpts from our playbook, Day 2, Build Jump Server. Subscribers can download the playbook from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, Jump to 9.1.2 or higher, Build Jump Server. In this drawing, we'll talk about how you can build a jump server for your jump lab. But first, let's start with a quick overview and review. Here are the tasks for a jump to 9.1.2 virtualization and upgrade. On day two, a figurative day, we virtualize and upgrade our CUCM cluster. The individual tasks are deploy base server and jump lab and configure jump server networking. Enterprise 20 is the model Enterprise used in the ABay Lab environment to illustrate BE6000 deployment, configuration, and ongoing administration. Our jump environment has VLANs that are routed and VLANs that are not. The VLANs that are routed are current production VLANs. The VLANs that are not routed represent our sandbox. See our Jump Lab VLANs drawing for a detailed discussion of these VLANs. The Jump Server is a tool for providing a default gateway, routing, DNS, SFTP, and NTP to the isolated builds and pre-production clusters. Web access to those clusters is also provided here. We'll build out a complete lab server for our Jump Server. Enterprise 20 is using a Windows 2008 server. The Jump Server provides access into Jump Lab environment, default gateway for collab apps, DNS, SFTP, and NTP for collab apps, and it could also provide SMTP. The Jump Server has no access to production collab apps or production DNS, SFTP, or NTP servers used by the production collab apps. For convenience, Enterprise 20 deploys two jump servers, one for the builds cluster and one for the pre-production cluster. This second server is mostly a copy of the builds. This makes it easier in that we don't have to change the VNIC configuration on the jump server to switch between the two clusters, and we don't have to worry about replication issues associated with having no routing between the VLANs in a cluster when the jump server is in the other cluster. First, we need to deploy the base server in the jump lab. There are many options to get a jump server into your jump lab. Upload an ISO and install a server. Export an existing server as an OVF template and import it into the jump lab. Attach your new ESXi host to vCenter and vMotion an existing server to the jump lab. And extend the builds and pre-production VLANs to another ESXi host and use an existing server on that host. Options 1 and 2 result in the server being unlicensed. You should license it as soon as possible. A Linux VM can be used instead. We can't illustrate all of the ways to get a base jump server into the jump lab. We'll illustrate option 2 above with an OVF template representing a Windows 2008 R2 server that's just been installed from the point where you import the OVF file into the jump lab. Select the Builds resource pool and navigate to File, Deploy OVF Template. Your OVF template is in a folder with the associated files. Navigate to the folder and select the .ovf file. When you've selected the file, click Next. Review the OVF template details and click Next again. Name the new server Builds Win 2008 Server 1 and click Next. This is a temporary server. Select the Thin Provision Radio button and click Next. The Builds Jump server is deployed. Our OVF template represents a Windows 2008 R2 server that's just been installed. We will use the Builds Jump server to create the pre production jump server after the Builds Jump server is completely configured. Next, we configure Jump Server Networking. 
The Builds Win 2008 Server 1 needs Venix on the Builds Collab A and Builds Collab B VLANs. The Pre-Production Win 2008 Server 1 needs Venix on the Pre-Production Collab A and Pre-Production Collab B VLANs. Click OK to complete the addition of the two Venix. Open a console to build Win 2008 Server 1 and log in. The original server, used to create the OVF template, was named Enterprise 20 Windows 2008 Server 1, a newly installed server. The original VNIC was on the Enterprise 20 routed Enterprise Network. We put that VNIC into the dead port group so as not to cause problems when we configure the jump server. The Collab A and Collab B VLANs have the same networks and gateways for all three clusters, production, builds, and pre-production. The IP addresses we assign to the Builds Collab A and Builds Collab B VNICs are the addresses used as the default gateways for those networks. We'll show you how to enable routing on the server later in this drawing. Any available IP address can be used for the routed enterprise network. Here are the addresses for our NTP and DNS servers. We'll configure this address as a secondary address on the Builds Collab A VNIC with a slash 32 mask. For convenience, in our lab, the routed enterprise network is the same network used for the NTP and DNS servers. This caused us no problems, but we would advise against it in general. This is the configuration of the Routed Enterprise Network VNIC. Click Advanced to add a DNS suffix. On the DNS tab, select the Appendies DNS Suffixes radio button and click Add. Enter the domain suffix enterprise20.ca. Click Add and OK. Close all dialog boxes. Here is the configuration of the Builds Collab A VNIC. Click Advanced to add a second IP address. On the IP Settings tab, click Add. Add the address of the NTP in DNS Server with the slash 32 mask and click Add. You should see both addresses. If you have different NTP and DNS servers, then add both addresses here. Click OK and OK again and close all dialog boxes. Here is the configuration of the Builds Collab B VNIC. You should now be able to RDP to the Builds Jump Server from anywhere in your enterprise. The pre-production jump server will be built once the Builds Jump Server software is all configured. We'll clone the pre-production jump server from the Builds Jump Server. The BE is configured as a jump lab. The jump lab server is deployed and we're ready to configure the jump server software. Coming up next, Day 2, Jump to 9.1.2 or higher. Configure Jump Server Software. Thanks for watching!